Hey, I'm TC and this is Brenna and we're owners of Gentile and Bard and thanks for hanging out on our channel. Please subscribe by hitting the button below and here's everything you need to know about parking in Savannah. I feel like everyone comes here and their number one stress is parking because it is a city. I think people get here and they have this idea that Savannah is like a super small town. And Savannah is kind of like, it is small, but it's like big city in a small little footprint. But it's you will see people who are looking at those kiosks and just lost. Yeah, of where to park, the times out. to park, the money, everything. There's a lot of parallel parking involved. There's a lot of one-way streets. There's squares, everything's in a grid, and you don't know where you can park or how you're supposed to park. It can be very confusing and intimidating. So we're just gonna yeah, run down what and, you need to know. And also we're gonna show you a little bit of our pet peeves of what you can do, the tips, when it does come to parking in the city. So yes. what is the biggest thing is the parking passes. So you do have to pay to park most of the time in Savannah. And so there are ways to make this very simple. You can go to the Savannah Visitor Center um, on MLK. You can be very easy, just put it in your Google Maps and it'll take you right there. Um, and they have parking passes that you can buy that will cover you for the whole day. And so you can get a two day pass for $24 that'll cover all your parking. Um, and then you can get a one day pass for $15 or you can get like one two day pass and one one day pass and then like put them together for three days. You know how it works. Did so you get all that? You can do that. You get, okay. So three um, days. And, you, and you get like a little sticker for your car. So you're just covered with, with parking payment. Okay, but now we're really going to tell you what to do because that can be expensive. So first off, the parking decks. There's a lot of parking decks throughout the city of Savannah. The tip is, is look at the hours for those. If you do choose a parking deck, you wanna get there early in the morning because especially during a weekday, you have a lot of locals who are heading to they work. Fill up. A lot of so they do, yeah, yeah, they do fill up rather quickly, but there's a lot of parking decks throughout the city. When it comes to street parking, you have to download the Park Savannah app before you come into the city. It is the best thing that the city has come up with. I so love it. The it city makes did life this. So simple. And if you are, if you don't get a parking pass, and you're like, oh well, I'm just gonna put quarters in the old meter, or I'm just gonna like do it at the kiosk or whatever, the app keeps you from having to go back to your car or back to the kiosk to like redo your payment. You can just do it from your phone. So no matter where you are in town, you can just like update your payment on your phone. So it's very simple. You're going to see these kiosks about every so block and there's going to be a number space on your parking space. Make sure that you text that to somebody, you write down that number. When you download the app, you just put your card information in there. It's very, very safe. And so like Brenna said, is that you go into the app, you have a login, and then anywhere around the city, about 10 minutes before your parking is up, is going to go It sounds like a really obnoxious car honking yeah. at you to be like, oh, your parking is running out. And then you just log into the app and you just add time to it and it will charge your card automatically and you don't even think about it. It's like, it's okay. Yeah. But the local tricks is this, is that do get a map of Savannah and look at the map because just think of this, the closer you park to the river, the more expensive is going to be and the longer that the city is going to be charging for parking for the day. So if you're closer to the river, it's going to be till 8 p.m. If you are farther away from the river, Liberty Street to the south, then it's going to be till 5 p.m. And then after five, it's free. So mm -hmm. you don't have to pay for those hours. Yeah. So and then also from Liberty Street to the river, $2 an hour. From Liberty Street to the south, $1 an hour. So you're making a savings. So you're parking during the whole day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You're gonna make a savings if you're parking from Liberty Street to the south. So get a map. We'll put like an image of a map on here so that you can see what it looks like. And yeah, pay attention to that. And nobody tells you that. Nobody talks no. about it. I learned that like last week. <laughs> yeah, because she got a parking <laughs> ticket last week. She did, which is fine if you get one because you easily pay them online. So don't stress out about it if you do get a parking ticket because it yeah. goes to the city and it's fine. Yeah. Uh, other little tricks and trades about parking and all that is going to be when it comes to parallel parking, Brenna does suggest to practice your parallel parking before Just you come practice. to the city. It's that way you're not the person who's like all flustered after your trip and you're like pulling up and then moving back and then pulling up and moving back like that really funny Austin Powers scene. Does anyone know what I'm talking yeah. about? Um, so yeah, just practice before you get here. Find a spot and just go practice for like 10 minutes. I promise you it sounds stupid, but you'll be so glad you did it because almost everything is parallel parking downtown. In Savannah. One of my pet peeves is this, which is simply when you are driving through the city, we had to become knowledgeable of this, is that when you see the person in front of you start putting their blinker on, 
back off a little bit because just assume there may be a space up there that they're gonna be parking to because you get too close to them, the person behind you is gonna get close to you, then you're gonna cause a traffic jam. Yeah. And yeah. so just pay attention to people's blinkers as well in the city as far as pillow parking when it comes to that. Also, street cleaning nights. Oh my gosh. Pay attention to the signs of street cleaning. Signs. They're so confusing in the city because uh, oftentimes they'll say street cleaning Tuesday from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. What that means is that it is Tuesday at 12 midnight on Tuesday. So, so Monday night, move your car. Exactly. Because it kicks in at the first hour of Tuesday. People get that confused all the time because you don't. You have to think about it for a second. It's Tuesday, 12 a.m. The first hour of Tuesday is when they're going to clean that street. So move your car Monday night. Yeah. You know, and they will time. ticket you. They will ticket you fast oh, so for that. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to festivals in town, pay attention to festivals there in town because the city will tow if the streets need to be closed. It's for uh, We have a lot of great charity events throughout the city, fun runs, as well as just uh, awareness. And so just be mindful of that as well. If there's any signs that say, oh, you can't park here. Also film productions. A lot of movies are being filmed in Savannah too. Pay attention to those. They will post where you can park and cannot park as well and when I it comes to the movies. The, probably the number one, this was like a lot of information. So we're gonna put links to everything that you need to know. We have a really thorough blog on our website about this. Um, so we'll put a link to that below. We'll also link to like the city parking department. So if there's something that we didn't talk about and you can't find it on the blog, you can look up for it there. Um, but I think the number one thing to remember is just like try not to get flustered. It is a city. Most of the people who are here are also visiting if they're driving. Downtown is a very much a walking neighborhood. So, um, you know, but even us locals, when we're driving our car through town, like we know people are visiting. So most of the time, you know, everyone's very polite everyone's very patient like that you kind of make allowances for it as you're driving around downtown um, just take a deep breath <laughs> try not to get frustrated don't let it ruin your day if you end up if you if you see a spot and you miss it and you have to circle around like just breathe through it like it's okay and it happens to everybody even those of us that live here sometimes we're like what is happening so just yeah. you know try to be calm about it and remember that you don't have to drive like find a spot our I would say probably our number one tip is like find a spot try to figure out like I won't have to move my car the whole time I'm here or maybe you have to move it one time or something and just walk everywhere or take a pedicab do something other than move your car because it just will make your life easier and actually you'll get like a really cool taste of what it's like to live in a walking city and a walking neighborhood Savannah is a very tiny footprint and so really to walk from one end of the historic district to the other end is like what would you say a it's only 15, about 15 minutes in order to do that walk at the most if you're like ambling so just walk. Don't don't mess with the car thing once you get here. You see how passionate she is? It's I mean you like, just she just she just went on about yeah. that. It is, it is. I mean I think about how passionate locals are when it comes yeah. to the parking yeah. as well. Because we want you to have a great experience. So the best right. thing that she said, park the car. Download Park Savannah app. Yes. Make sure you know of the hours on it and the app will remind you as well as when the day is done, you'll say, oh, you only have to pay this much. You don't even think about it. So download the app is the best thing to do and walk this beautiful city. Come and join us with the Genteel and Bard beautiful walking tour of the we'll city in the morning time, nighttime. Absolutely. Yeah. And so so please, like Brenna said, click on all those links, get the more information we have for you on genteelandbard.com. And if you have any specific questions, leave them for us in the comments below and we'll get to those and we'll answer them. And and if you do have questions, do ask them in the comments because that way other people who have questions, they might see your question and they have the same question. And So just be friendly and leave your question. Exactly. And you know what? She hasn't <laughs> really drank this at all, so I'm going to not drink coffee. her coffee. Yeah. So y'all, subscribe below. Yeah.